So before we start, I'm going to tell you guys that this strategy is about 85% accuracy, right? It means that this market could go the opposite direction because all strategies are not 100%. There's also going to be a downside to some strategy, all right? So let's get on with it. So first thing, you go into your indicator section. You want to put on the RSI first on indicator window one. You put the RSI on period 14, you apply to close. Then you put the levels on 90 and the level 12, okay? Then you put the style on 4 pixels while you use the color red and this middle line right here. Okay, then you click on done. Then the style here, you're going to put it on blue while you put it on 4 pixel. Then you put this line, it's going to be this straight one here. Then you click on done. So the second indicator is the bull's power. You want to put it before the MACD. So you put the period on 13. You apply it to all time frames. The style is going to be on 2 pixel. The color green as well. There you click on done. Okay. But the MACD indicator, fast EMA on 14. The slow EMA on 24. And the MACD SMA on 10. Then you apply it to close. All right. Then the time frame on all time frame. The main, you put it on 4 pixels. You put the main on 4 pixels. The signal is going to be on 4 as well. The color for the main is going to be on black. The signal is going to be on red, okay? So before we start the strategy, I want you guys to know that we have a Telegram channel where I give out free signals on our Telegram channel, okay? The link is on our About section on our YouTube page, right? So you can join our Telegram channel so that you can get free signals on boom and crash indices volatility 75 and also currency pairs okay where we trade currencies such as usd euro usd gpp jpy and all that right so how the strategy works is that while on boom has on index so this strategy is for boom has on index alone all right now you can see here the the indicators we're going to be paying attention to are the RSI, the MACD, and the bulls power, okay? But we're not paying attention with this green one. This this blue one here is the RSI, so we're not needing this one right here, okay? And we're not using this red one as well. So now, we're placing a buy at the overbought, right? Now, we know that when price gets to the overbought, the next step is for the market to sell. But for boom 1000, since we're only taking a sell all the time, for boom, we're only taking a sell. So, this is the overbought right here at this point, right? Take a look at this point. The overbought and the next step is for the market to sell. And what we are avoiding in this type of trading is the spikes, right? So we don't want to cast spikes. We want to avoid the spikes as possible. We want to make profit on the market, okay? Now, you place your sale at this point. Then you trace it downwards. Immediately, you place your sale. Let me mark it. Point sale at this point here. You place our cell and uh, here okay good here you place your cell then this is the cell then you trace it downwards here immediately you can't your candles then when you see that this trend line here if you zoom in a little bit right now this green line below the macd is the bull's power when you see that it's almost at this level of 12 you exit the market and you take your profit because the spike is going to come through at that point, right? Take a look at this. Here, we place our, our cell right here and we trace it downwards to this point, the level of 12 here. The next step was a spike. Take a look at this. And it created an uptrend for the bull's power. Meanwhile, the MACD is still on an uptrend. I remember that I told you guys that the when there is a downtrend of the MACD spikes always occurs, right? But we mainly take our our sell on the uptrend, right? Now, here is another position at this point. Here's another position at this point. Here, after the spike, we place our sell. Then to wait and see. Remember that you can still take about four or three candle ticks if you want to. All right, but I'm just showing you guys this strategy for you to avoid spikes. This strategy, this signal shows you when the spike is coming. So you know 
when the spike is coming so that you can avoid it so the spike doesn't catch you and take away all your profits right so you see here at this point here the level of 12 you exit the market if you are on the market and you know that boom market is not the type of trading where you want to stay on the market for a long period of time because spikes can come in with a in a blink of an eye the spike can come in so you don't want to be in the market for too long you just want to count your profit and you are out of the market then you look for another good opportunity for you to place another sell entry right so here you can see that immediately it goes to the level of 12 not too long again the spike came in at this point and if you take a look at it this is the downtrend of the MACD, meaning that while we are expecting more spikes on the market, right? We are expecting more spikes on the market. So you see here, the spike came to immediately at this point. When you touch the level of 10, just know that you are expecting a spike. So if you want to be on the safer side on this trading, you need to exit the market at that point so that the spike doesn't come in. Because at this point, when the spike is going to come, they're not going to give you a signal that the spike is coming. So the only signal that you will know that the spike is coming is when this boost power touch this red line here, which we indicate as the level of 12. Okay. So that is the, the, the signal we have created for ourselves. Okay. Know that the boost power alone does not give you a signal that the spike is coming. All right. So you just saw that. We combined the RSI and the MACD together with the relative straight index at the level of 12 just to give us a signal that the spike is coming into the market. Okay, so that we can avoid the spike. So at this point, so at this point, you can't just place a buy because you want to catch the spike because you don't know you don't know the actual points or the actual moments the spike will come into the market right but you can exit the market and take your profit just to avoid that spike that will come into the market unexpectedly right so this is the signal here okay so you see that even though that we place a sell at this point we are able to get about five to seven candle ticks as our profit before we exited the trade all right you can see Okay, now let me show you another position here so you can know that this strategy really works very well, right? At this point here, we place a sell on this market, right? We place a sell. You can even place your sell at this point here, right? You place your sell at this point, then you count your, your profit. Even though there's a spike, this spike only took away about three candle ticks. Right, but if you trace it down, you can see that it's at the uptrend of the MACD. The uptrend of the MACD, and during the downtrend here, there's a spike. Here, there's a spike here. All right, at the uptrend, there are spikes on the market as well. Okay, there are spikes on the market. So with this strategy, you can easily know when spikes is coming in when you place your sell entry on the market okay so at this point right now let's assume let's say that we place a, a sell at this point now given the the momentum now you can see that here we place a sell right but if i was trading here we place a sell at this point let me mark it so that you can see at this point here let's say you are on the market and this is the position right now you don't want to place a sale at this point the reason is that this market there's 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 a space between here and here for the market to spike easily for the market to spike for the market to buy their space so if to say that this point this market spike up to this point you can place your sell just to count your profits but at this point it's not a good entry point for you to place a sell because this market is highly volatile and the market would spike just as you are seeing here no spike here spike here spike here right just as you can see and it went up until the overbought 
and it bought a little bit. Now, you see that at this point, there's no way the market could continue to buy. Again, it can't just buy, right? It needs to sell a little bit. That's why I saw that when it sold a little bit, then it spiked again because there was a space in the chart for the market to go upwards. And when it got to this point here, when it got to this point here, it sold again, it bought. It sold again, it bought. Right? Just as you can see. And if you look at this point here, the boost power is giving an upward trend. And remember that we only place our buy immediately after the market has spiked here. And we traced it down when the boost power is on a downtrend and at giving has touched the level of 12. That's when we exit our trade. We do not place a sell when the boost power is on the upward trend. Right? We do not place our sell. Take a look at this point that I marked before. This is the place where we place our sell. All right. Immediately the spike and we exited when the price is here at the level of 10. All right. I hope you understand what I'm saying to you guys. Okay. I hope you understand. And during the upward trends on the MACD, spikes always come into the market as well. On the crash market, on the downtrend of the MACD, the spikes comes into the market. On the boom market, on the upward trends of the MACD, spikes comes into the market as well. Even on the downtrend of the MACD, there's still a spike on the market. That's why you see at this point here, there was a spike during the downward trend of the MACD before it went upwards and it continued to, to buy. Right? It continued to buy. Okay, so I hope after watching this video, you now understand how to avoid spikes on motors or index, how to see future spike movement, right? This indicator will show you when to expect a spike wherever you are trading in Boom 500 index. If you are at the oversold or the overbought, this indicator will show you that the spikes is coming. And remember that you need to use all three indicators, the relative threat index, the bulls power, and the MACD indicator for you to be able to see the future price movement of the spikes on the market. Okay. So if you found value in this video, do it to like and subscribe to the channel, the daily forex for more awesome trading tips and strategies. I'll see you guys on the next video.